Okay, so why did you decide to go to the racing school? Because I've always loved race horses and the industry itself, you know, watching it on a Sunday afternoon with all the you know, whether it's national hunt, flat, point to point, whatever, I always thought what a great job to be in and I'd love to be a part of it. And tell me, um, had you ridden ra- had, had any experience with racehorses before? Uh, I rode I guess I own an ex racehorse, but it wasn't the same as, you know, riding out for David or at the racing school. You know, they were proper racehorses. Mine was just a hack and I thought that was bad enough. So yeah, I thought he was naughty, but... So tell me what the racing school did for you. Uh, taught me how to ride a racehorse, not just your normal pony that you're used to riding, you know. Those horse, uh, racehorses are born and bred to run and, you know, a lot more fire than a normal little pony that you just take around home or for a hack or whatever. You know, they taught me a heck of a lot of how to sit one, how to, you know, just hold your neck strap for instance, just making life so much easier. You know, it showed me a lot. And tell me, what's your opinion of the racing school? Uh, brilliant. I love being there, I didn't want to go home. <laughs> you know, they, they taught you so much, you know, from the moment you leave home, that's it, you're on your own. They just showed you how easy it, you know, how easy it is just to leave home in the first place, not just to oh no I'm on my own, you're not on your own and they just teach you not just how to ride a racehorse or to get into an industry, they teach you life skills and thanks to racing school I've got these life skills and tell well, the first week all I wanted to do was go home and go straight home to my mum but you know thanks to my instructors and uh, the hostel manager they were tissues and hugs and they kept me there and you know they helped me big style Without them, there the, and they got plenty of thanks for the day I left in tears. So I didn't want to leave them because they, you know, such a great support and help to me when I was there. It was what I needed. Uh, went straight to David Lanigan's first job into racing. First racehorse, probably like, I sat on, and oh, I've not thought twice about it. Loved the job. Loved working for David. The horses are all nice. You know, good rides, and give me plenty of opportunities in racing to you know, kickstart my career. This is my Oaks Philly Measler, owned by Sai Valley and Sai Delta. She's taken me to group one meetings, and thanks to David I've managed to look after such a nice horse, only, only been in racing for not very long. You know, I didn't think I'd be able to look after a nice horse like this, especially in such a short space of time. And it's so rewarding to take her to the races and see her do well. It made my job worthwhile. <laughs> Amy came to us from uh, the racing school, I think it was uh, two years ago, um, and the racing school gave her a very good foundation and taught her all about uh, looking after racehorses and riding racehorses. And she's come on to us and she's stepped up to the next level. Uh, she looks after some very nice horses. Her horses always do very well just because she's enthusiastic and, um, and works very hard with them. Um, but. Um, and her riding has improved an awful lot since she came here. And uh, and uh, just, but her attitude is very good. She's you know she wants to learn and she wants to improve. And she's done that leaps and bounds since she's come to us. It's very important to have good staff. And she's uh, an ideal example because you know she cares about what she does and looks after her horses very well. And because of that, she's been very lucky. And you know I think every one of the horses that she looks after has won, has won a race, at least one race. Um, <clears throat> but you know. It's important because this is a, a team event where I, I give the orders and try and train the horses. But if you don't have good staff, the horses, you know, you can't you can't ride every horse. So we've got uh, 60 horses in training. So we need, you know, a, a very good team behind us. And what do you think of the place of the racing school in the racing industry? I think it's hugely important. I don't think people realise how important it is uh, on a number of levels. You know, there's <coughs> people that haven't had a good upbringing or people that haven't had a good education throughout their life um, and maybe have gone the wrong way and this gives them a purpose, teaches them something and uh, through working with horses I think once people learn how to ride that haven't been involved in it before it gives, it, um, gives them a, a great deal of purpose in life and it's something that they can can do for the rest of their life and get a job and go on and, and work and make a living out of. And why do you take 
um, students from the racing school? Uh, Amy was probably the first one. I only started training four years ago. Um, and we were advised that somebody, they had a person that was good that was looking for a job after she'd finished the course. Um, and it has worked out very well for us. <coughs> um, and, uh, you know, I would, I'd, I'd take a, another person without hesitation. And I think also it's, we have to be seen to support something that's getting a lot of money put into it. Um, because if this is, doesn't happen, you know, you, we need staff coming through. You know, there's a lot of people who go work in factories or whatever, but uh, we need new staff coming through. Um, you know, so that they can start and work their way up into the industry. My personal experience has been uh, very good. I've done. I had to do the trainers course at the racing school, uh, which I found very worthwhile. Um, it goes through everything. You know, you you go in there. I was, I've worked on horses all my life and you probably go in there with the attitude thinking you know everything that you need to know starting off but it, it provides you with a very good foundation and opens your eyes and, and to stuff that you probably haven't thought about uh, regarding finance and, and banking systems and um, accounting and everything like that. I thought for me that was the most important thing um, and then just how to, how to go about getting started off and just the pitfalls to avoid.